let's talk a little bit about the the goat, uh, Dave Portnoy buying back bar stools for one dollar from Penn. It's a great deal. It's um, it's well, that is a pretty good deal. Well, yeah. to be clear, so just to get the details, so it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's he sold it in Penn bought it in they bought I think thirty percent of the company and then they bought the rest of it in yeah. total like five fifty over like a, a two purchase uh, period. He's buying back for a dollar plus fifty percent of whatever it sells for in the future. So it's not a terrible, I think a lot of people are saying like Penn is a terrible deal. But, but it's it, like- it, it is because if he never sells, he doesn't have to do it. If he does, he does have to give 50% of that sale yes. to Penn. Yeah. And I'd imagine at some point, Portnoy, like, eventually he he's will just great at building a media company. He's going to get bored, want to do something, he'll sell it. But it'll be a nine figures or a bill. Yeah. So they'll, they'll, they'll likely ROI on it, Penn yeah. in the long run. And well, they, then they, they projected that they lost 800 to 850 million with this deal but at the same time they made a deal with espn that will make them billions yeah and uh, in the deal at least some guy did a, i forget his name I, I hate that i forget it did a really good thread on like the deal structure yeah. and i know some of the parts of it were that he um like barstool can't do their own book yep they can't work with any other book advertisers mm -hmm. so it is a smart play because it's like okay we're you know you buy it for a dollar, but we're also kind of freezing you out. You can't compete with us. Right. So that that's that's a smart play. And they're getting ESPN's brand for one point five billion over yeah. a ten year period, which is a pretty good, pretty good deal. And that's just on, on the betting now with ESPN is just gonna that's gonna explode. Yeah. And it's it says a lot about um, you know, where Disney's at, where ESPN's at. Because that was never on the table. Like no. Disney never would be in sports betting, right? ESPN would never touch that. Mm -hmm. But it's like they're just they've been bleeding for so long. That you know, Iger's like, it's you know, either we're gonna sell it, some we're gonna have to sell this or do something because it just there's a lot of parts of Disney right now that aren't working, and yeah. that's that's a big big part of it. And sports betting is just you know mass. It's a no brainer. It's like your ESPN. You need to be in in sports betting. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's a great play long term for all people. I think Dave will have a lot of fun now because he has nothing to lose. He doesn't need to do this for money. So it'll be more outlandish, more crazy, blah blah blah. Yeah. He's living like. Dave Portnoy is like most guys, right? Like when they're teenagers and stuff, like wish they could snap their fingers and say like, when I grow up, yes. this is what my job to be. Yeah. It's what Dave Portnoy does on a daily basis. His yeah. His job, his lifestyle, all of it. Like, yeah. He just, just like, yeah, no, runs a giant sports company, media company, talk shit, like it reviews it's, it's, pizzas for fun. Yeah. And he turned it yeah. into a thing. Like, yeah, he's just having the best time of his life. He's in trash talk. I don't know. You saw his first tweet the day he went back yes. to the office and just literally called out like, Oh, it was Bunch of 70 employees of everybody name. was empty. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, where's this person, this person, this person, you guys, you know, you're not good enough to like, he just doesn't, he has no, there's no HR. <laughs> there's he doesn't no, care. And he, he'll continue to get away with it. Yeah. He said, so Penn had a whole thing, like, you know, if you're having problems with someone in your office, whatever, like there's a place you can discreetly say it. He, he did a video. He's like, that's not going to happen. If you have a problem, you're going to snitch to somebody. You're going to do it in front of their faces and we're going to go live. We're going to make content out of it. Like a lot of people are going to quit, but a lot of people yeah. are going to want to work there. Yeah. Him going aggressive like that is, it's always worked for him. I, I haven't seen him stick his foot in his mouth yet. Dude, the guy literally like violated SEC in COVID yeah. and like live, like live and no, he's, he's untouchable. So now you have, uh, if you have X, if they weren't so deep in debt, by Barstool, <laughs> can you imagine Elon and Dave Pointer working the same, in the same building? Mm. It would just be the, the craziest workplace in the history of workplaces. Yeah. Dave would probably be like, we got to shoot this. We got to make a pot about it. Yeah. Like That'd could, be so much fun. I think he could convince Elon if they ever did and be like, let's just have a pod together. I don't yeah. think so. I think they're, they're on totally different brainwaves. <sighs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think they would be able to hold a decent conversation. I think they could be friends. I think, I think he would be better than Zuck with, with Dave. Yeah. But I know uh, yeah. Zuck's got a lot of training, not just on jujitsu and stuff, but on being a human being now. I think he's kind of... Yeah. He's gotten better. On, he's not mastered like, being a human, but he's, no. he's he, he, more he fluid. Blinks. He blinks now. Like, yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. He uses different sunscreen. Yeah. yeah. 